The blessed person is not here. He's not seated here. He is seated in the heavenly place in the right hand of the Father in Christ Jesus. When we talk about the right hand of the Father, we are not talking about the right hand side. It's not about being on a side of on the right side. Right hand means a right position. You have been raised with Christ and you are seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Beautiful to be here again. Wonderful to see all of us, uh, to fellowship with us and to have a time to share the word of God again. Uh, I think we had a short break because we had gone for the, the national elections and congratulations to all of us, especially my country people because of the peaceful elections and uh, congratulations to our president-elect. Uh, I believe Kenya is going forward. And so once again, welcome. This is the Marvelous Believer Show. I'm your host, Lucy Lepore, and I am honored that uh, today I am sharing the word of God with you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for finding time to be with us and for always being here and fellowshipping with us. Thank you so much for everyone who reached out while we were on the short break and uh, said we have not seen the show. I was so encouraged that we love this show and we keep uh, updated. So welcome. Let's share the word of God. I believe there is a word for each one of us and me included. I believe God is speaking to us. And today um, I want us to share or to fellowship upon the first three verses of this first psalm, psalm number one. Just the first three verses is what I, the Holy Spirit put in my spirit to share with you. I know you'll be blessed. While we open our Bibles, uh, please share this link with a friend. Let them come along and share the word of God with us. So Psalms chapter one. And verse 1. I will read it for us. Psalms chapter 1. Verse 1. Um, just open my Bible. Glory be to Jesus. Psalms chapter 1 and verse 1. I will read verse 1 and 2. Uh, so that we start from there. Uh, the Bible says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Uh, let's, let's talk about that first before we go to verse 3 to talk more about this blessed man. When David started the psalm, the very first psalm is talking about a blessed man. Like out of the 150 Psalms, it starts with, let's talk about you. Before we go into so much, let's talk about the blessed man. And the reason I'm sharing this Psalm today is because maybe you're there and uh, maybe you ever was where I have ever been. Some of the things I share is because I've been through them or I know some of the wrong things that I thought were correct. And I was taught maybe that way and they have they, they denied me sometimes an opportunity to understand the love of God. Sometimes they deviated my understanding from the true gospel, from the love, the grace of God into thinking about how condemned I am. And that makes you sometimes not enjoy the full potential or the full love of God. And so... Um, Today we, we talk about this psalm and I'm talking about it because it has happened to me. There is a place I was in fellowship and uh, if you were found seated with someone who was not a believer, you would have to go and answer for it. If you were found talking, to, so sometimes it made you feel, yes, this is the blessed man, but I can't be the one. I cannot be among the blessed because... So many, so often I find myself with this company or in this place. Some of you, your bosses and your friends maybe are not born again. Are you still qualified to be the blessed person? Maybe the person you confined with, even maybe family issues, is maybe not born again. Or even uh, uh, maybe some of us have missed opportunities. Maybe some, sometimes we've uh, missed opportunities to, to do business with maybe someone 
or even financial people that could help you financially or maybe destiny connectors because they are not born again and we have been taught that a blessed man is not found in their company so who is a blessed man what do we mean when we talk about a blessed man and who is this blessed man who is this who can meet the high standards as as it were of a blessed man maybe first we need to discuss what we mean by a blessed person what who is a blessed person what is the definition of a blessed person uh, in my i think as i uh, in my own knowledge or as we grew up we believed to be called blessed you must be very financially stable in very good health and your finances are, are okay your education is on point and everything else is okay your family your marriage and then you are blessed but i believe when we talk about a blessed person it's not just the positive gifts and uh, comfort around us a blessed person according to the actually i checked an english dictionary and it was saying it's a holy person someone who has been reconciled back to the father for me that is a blessed person someone who has been brought back into the relationship with the father someone who, who knows who has been who has the spirit of god witness in his uh, life or in her heart that i can call uh, god the father abba father that's a blessed person that is what we call a blessing and so we are are we the people that uh, david or the psalmist is calling blessed are we the people we are talking about he says blessed is that man who does not sit in the council of the wicked or in the seat of the scornful and everything else who is the blessed man i want to to read a few uh especially the uh, epistles of uh, paul because i think paul had a wonderful revelation of the position of a believer and that's the position of a blessed man so i'll read some uh, verses in the book of uh, ephesians and let me start with ephesians right from chapter 1 and verse 3 paul says blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestined us for adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will Paul says we are blessed he is not talking about those who will be blessed He's not talking about those who will be blessed after meeting which condition. He says if you are in Christ Jesus, you are blessed. He says he has already blessed us with every spiritual blessing. If you are in Christ Jesus, you are already declared blessed. Hallelujah. So you are a blessed person. If you are in Christ Jesus, you are declared blessed. And Paul goes ahead and tells us, uh, this blessed person has been chosen he chose us to be holy you are not struggling to be holy you are not struggling to achieve to be called righteous the bible says he became sin that we can become the righteousness of god so here paul says he chose us to be holy he chose he he picked on you so that when you are in christ jesus when god looks at you he calls you holy he calls you blessed he chose us to be holy and then paul says having predestined us for adoption as sons before you were born you know god had like we always teach the life we live now god already foresaw it the bible says for those that he predestined he also called and then he justified it was already predestined for you to be chosen and to be adopted as a son and to be chosen to be holy praise be to jesus so having predestined us for adoption as sons according to the good pleasure of his will that is the will of god that is the good pleasure of his will it's not just the will he has good pleasure it pleases him completely that you should be and it is good when we know that that we were predestined for adoption we were chosen and so when we talk about the blessed man we are talking about that person who has already gotten in Christ a relationship with God and he has already been predestined for adoption glory be to Jesus uh, I'll read more maybe one or two more 
verses so that we continue understanding this blessed man. And when we talk about this person who is in Christ Jesus, I am talking about you, the marvelous believer. The Bible says, Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. So when we come in Christ, we become a new creation. And this new creation is a spirit man. So you got born again. You became a new creation. You became a spirit man. The you that you see or the me that you're listening to is not, is not the physical person. It is the spirit person. And so that person is already blessed because that person is in Christ Jesus. The actual us. We are spirit people and we are in Christ Jesus. So Ephesians is, uh, Paul in chapter 2 of Ephesians, he says, chapter 2 verse 6, he says, uh, he is talking about uh, still uh, Jesus, but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespass, made us alive together with Christ made us alive together in Christ. We were embedded in Christ. We are inside Christ and made alive. We were dead in sin, but we became alive when we uh, received Jesus. And so now we are inside of Jesus. And he says, he made us alive together with Christ and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That is the position of a blessed person. That is your position as a marvelous believer, as a new creation believer. You have been raised up in Christ and made to sit in the heavenly places. So when, when uh, the psalmist is talking, he is only being prophetic. And he is seeing a people that have been shifted. They are no longer sitting in the where we, where we are looking at physically with our physical eyes and seeing... Um, people that are seated uh, with our five senses. In the spirit, you have been raised with Christ and you are seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That is the position of a marvelous believer. That is the position uh, of uh, the blessed person. Colossians chapter 3 says, now Jesus is seated in the right hand of the Father. If we are in Jesus, so it means we are seated with him in the right hand of the Father. When we talk about the right hand of the Father, we are not talking about the right hand side. It's not about being on a side, of, on the right side. Right hand means a right position. If you talk about a person being your right hand person, you're talking about the person that you can call on any time. The person you can delegate anything to. The person who can do what you're supposed to do. The person who represents you. That is Jesus. That's where he is seated, the right hand of the Father. And we are seated there with him. That is our position. That is where we are. So we should not start getting condemned, A, because I sat next to, you know, that fellowship I told you about. Even when we went for meals, if you sat on a round table with people who are not, it was, it is, uh, it was wrong, of course it was wrong. But... What I'm trying to say is that some of these things have led us to almost think I am not able to achieve the standard that I'm supposed to. I am not able to be that blessed person. I am not able to avoid this and this and this. Because I always find myself so often in this company and in this place. Sometimes I need someone to help me here and there. The blessed person is not here. He's not seated here. He is seated in the heavenly place in the right hand of the Father in Christ Jesus. That's the position of the new uh, creation believer. That's the position of a marvelous believer in the right hand side or in the right hand of the Father. So David was, was looking at this uh, prophetically. Remember I have always said David was such a prophet. He was seeing these things prophetically like he was seeing a people that will not be seated physically here, but they will be seated in the right hand of the Father in the heavenly places. And he calls those people blessed. And he says those people are blessed. Blessed is that man. The same David at one point was saying, uh, blessed is a man whose sins are forgiven, whose transgressions the Father does not remember anymore. Remember David lived in a time that they could not have their sins fully forgiven because Christ had not yet died. They could not completely say their sins are forgiven and forgotten. 
So when he talked about blessed is a man whose sins are forgotten and whose transgression the father does not remember in, or God does not remember anymore, he was not talking about people of his generation. He was not talking about people who, re, who lived in his reign. He was looking prophetically to a time like this when we have been forgiven and the old is gone and our sins are not remembered anymore. So the same prophetic I David is looking at with a, in this psalm, chapter 1, and he says, blessed is that man who is not seated with people on the, I mean, with physically or spiritually not seated with people as we see in the physical, but his spirit, the real man, the real you, is seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. In the right hand of the Father. And you are blessed. You are the person that is called the blessed man. And so as we continue uh, in the same Psalms, uh, we read the last part of it, Psalms chapter 1. The last part says of the blessed man, that is verse 3, not the last part, but verse 3, that's the last for us for today. Maybe another day we shall continue. But he says, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You see, David is talking of a person that he sees in the future. He shall be. But for us, we are. Here we are now. That is why he talks about the blessed person. He is seeing that person in the future. When you come to Ephesians, Paul tells us we are blessed. It's a reality. It's a present day reality. We are blessed. We are the blessed person. So uh, David, uh, the psalmist says, he shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Hallelujah. He says that person shall be like a tree. I have said David talked prophetically. Now we live it. This is the present reality. That person, that blessed person is us. And that is who we are. We are, we are like a tree that is planted. Let me tell you, when you talk of a tree is planted, it is not a wild tree. It just didn't grow anyhow by chance. We are not doing life by chance. You have been chosen. Paul says that person has been chosen for adoption. By the time a tree is planted, the person who is planting has considered, can this tree drive well here? Is it the right place? Do I need it here? Is it uh, the kind of tree I want here? That is the tree that is planted. It didn't just grow by chance. It doesn't matter the circumstances under which any of us came into this world. We were chosen. It was the plan of God. You were predestined for adoption as a son. You were chosen to be holy. You, it was thought about. It was well planned. It, was, it, it is a tree that is planted. It's not a wild tree. It is planted and taken care of. And so he says it's like a tree that is planted by the rivers, rivers with several sources. It cannot dry. It cannot lack. And its leaves do not shed. Hallelujah. So let me finish by saying uh, uh, we are blessed. He says whose leaf also shall not wither and whatever he does prosper. That tree brings forth its fruit in its season. I want us to note that. The tree that is, the, the person that is like that tree brings forth its fruit in its season. It's not in the seasons of the world. It's not in which season. Let me tell you, the seasons, the idea of seasons or the issue of seasons came from the curse of man. When Adam was living in the Garden of Eden, trees were just okay. Throughout any time there were fruits, there was food. Trees were put there to produce food. But when man fell and, had, and the ground was cast because of man, now man was told you'll be tilling the ground and the ground can bring uh, uh, fruit this time and it has to wait again, I don't know, until there is rain, until you have done one, two, three, and then it brings again fruit. So seasons of this world came from the curse of man, when, when the curse of the ground because of man. By the way, God did not curse man. God loves man. He did not curse man. He cursed the ground because of man. He said the ground you're cursed because of man. 
but now this cast ground started the issue of event seasons so that there's a time you come and the tree has nothing and there's a time you come and because there was some rain the tree is struggling to bring in some fruit the tree that the blessed man is talking about brings fruit in its season it is not determined by conditions. It is not because now we've been in a political unrest or not. Now it is like this. It is not because it rained or it did not rain. You bring fruit in your season. The, the blessed man brings fruit. The tree brings fruit in its season. And that's the blessed person. And that is who we are. I came to tell you today we are blessed. We are the people that are not seated under the conditions that we see with our naked eyes but our position in christ is in the heavenly places in the right hand of the father and we are like a tree that has been chosen thought about planted taken care of and we bring fruit in our season it is according to our season so that the time you need marriage that's the time the marriage comes so that the time you need to be employed that's the time employment comes it doesn't matter what else is happening around. It doesn't matter how much we talk about there are no employments or there are employments. Employment comes in its season for you. Marriage comes at the right time. Children come at the right time. Glory be to Jesus. Businesses open up at the right time. You are in the right place at the right time because you are a spirit man. You are not seated in the wrong place because you are a spirit person. You are seated in the right hand of the Father. You are in the right place at the right time. And so you bring forth in your season. You are not determined by the salary or not the salary. In your season, in the right time for you, you bring forth. Hallelujah. And so we are blessed. That's why we are marvelous. We are blessed. And I want us to do a declaration as I end. I just want us to make this our prayer as we declare that we are blessed. You are blessed. I want you to say, I am blessed. I want you to say, I am chosen to be holy. I am chosen. I am predestined for adoption as a son in Christ Jesus. And I am seated in the heavenly places. I am seated in Christ in the right hand of the Father. I am, I, everything, the Bible says, the same psalm says, whatever he does shall prosper. So I want you to declare everything that I do prospers. I bear fruit in my right season and everything I do prospers. I am blessed. That becomes our declaration for today. We are the blessed man. And that's why we call ourselves marvelous. I think I will end there. May the Lord continue uh, blessing us. We are already blessed. We continue enjoying the blessings of God. And let's continue sharing our videos with as many friends as we can. Remember, we really do appreciate that you find time to tune in and to be part of us. This is Wema TV. Uh, God bless you until next time.